do to a fine young zebra by the name of Sue. Oh, 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 oh. Meet mom and dad, Nana too, grandma, grandpa, all of you. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a friend in you. I've got a friend in Sue. Zoo's Beads. <laughs> I'll need to measure you for your jumper soon, Zoo. I've got to go, Grandma. I don't want to be late for my art class. All right. But I'll send Grandpa over when I need you. Thanks, Grandma. Bye. <laughs> Today's uh, tapestry day. Ooh. Ooh! Hmm. All you need is a frame and some coloured wool. Then what do you do, Zerosta? You weave the wool in and out of the strings on the frame to make a pattern. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I get it. It can be anything you like. A tree, a cloud or a colourful pattern. Ooh! I'm going to weave a big yellow sunflower. Lovely idea, Elsie. Um, what about you, Zoo? Um, mm -hmm. I'd like to make a picture of the sea and the sky. Wonderfully bold, Zoo. And you, Zack? Um, uh, I don't know. Mm, a, um, a vivid abstract piece, perhaps? Abstract. I like abstract. <laughs> Oh! Thank you. Beautiful. Mm. Oh! Mm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, if I'm not careful, my blue sea and blue sky will look like one big blue blob. Hmm. <laughs> Just like my abstract. Hmm. You could pop in a line of grey wool to separate the sea from the sky. It might not show up. Or you could um, add some decorations. Decorations? Like what, Sigmund? Anything you like, Elsie. Something that brings creative individuality to your work. A ribbon, a sparkly star, buttons, a badge, even your name woven in neon thread. <laughs> Mum, please could you take us to Mr Zoe's art shop to buy some decorations? If that's all right with Zoroaster and Sigmund. It's OK, but don't take too long. Oh, can I come too, Zena? Of course, Zoe. <laughs> Zag, would you like to come with us? Um, no, thank you. I don't need anything. OK. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Your abstract's coming along beautifully, Zack. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Hmm. I could use this to decorate my flower stem. Beads. These will be perfect for my picture. What's my Zack making? He's doing something <laughs> abstract, Mr Zoe. He's really enjoying himself. An abstract? My word, that sounds clever. <laughs> that is a lovely shade of green, Elsie. It's my sunflower stem. Beads! Wonderful colour, Zoo. I'm going to use them to divide the sea from the sky. Excellent idea. Huh? Wow! Where did those come from? Your dad's shop. He's got loads of stuff. Oh. I'm sorry, Zack, but we did ask you if you wanted to come with us before we left. You said you didn't oh. need anything. Uh, never mind. Can I go now? <laughs> oh. Sorry, Zack. I really must get back to my painting before the paint dries. <sighs> 
Oh, will you take me to Dad's shop? Sorry, Zack. We need to get your tapestries finished before break time. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Go to Dad's shop too. <sighs> uh, here, have some of my beads. Thanks, Zoo. Mm -hmm. I'll weave them into my abstract. That's very kind <laughs> of you, Zoo. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, could I borrow Zoo for a minute, please? Uh, Grandma's knitting him a jumper. She wants to measure him. Oh, um, be as quick as you can, Zoo. I will. Stand still, Zoo. I've got to get back, Grandma. I just need to check it's the right length. Mm. There. That's fine. <laughs> Off you go. Bye. <laughs> You've totally transformed your abstract piece, Zack. <laughs> Are those all of Zoo's beads? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> but where are my beads? Hmm. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Snack time. Oh. Hello, Zoo. Everything all right? Hmm. Not really. I got some beads to decorate my tapestry, but Zack didn't have any, so I shared mine with him. But he used them all up. Oh, so now you're all out of beads, eh? Yes, and I can't ask Zack for the beads back. It'll spoil his tapestry. Well, it was a very kind thing to do, Zoo. Oh, being kind hasn't helped me finish my tapestry. It still looks like a big blue blob. What sort of decorations do you need? Zygmunt and Sarosta said we could use things that show our characters. Things that we like. Well, there's no shortage of that stuff <laughs> lying around this house. Come on. Ah, mm. yeah, I've seen you wearing these badges. <laughs> these are my favourites. Right, we'll start with those. Hmm. Oh. Oh, uh, and you like this, too. Yeah. I could use my special shell. The one with the hole in the middle. <laughs> oh, and my best pebble, too. Mustn't forget my lucky zebra mascot. And my cool neon wristband. These things are much more me than beads are. Oh, <laughs> that should be enough. Any more decorations and you won't see your tapestry. <laughs> Grandpa? You're welcome, Zoo. Have fun. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> mm. <gasps> Hello. Zoo! Zoo! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to take all your beads. You can have them all back if you like, Zoo. It's okay, Zack. You keep them. I thought of something else instead. Wow! These are all my favourite things. Funny badges, a smiley face, my special mascot, and my best football keyring. It's certainly you, Zoo. Ingenious. And so personal. It was Grandpa's idea. Ah, but you're the one who put it all together. The artist that brought the piece to life. <laughs> <laughs> I finished my sunflower. Let's take a look at all your work. Elsie's beautiful blazing sunflower. <laughs> oh, yes, and Zach's stunning use of beads on an abstract. <laughs> And Zoo's unique <gasps> use of decoration on his seascape. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, all of you. Top marks to the tapestry makers. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you said it looked like a big blue blob. <laughs> it did. Until I put my decorations between the sea and the sky. Well, I think it's very impressive. <laughs> a colourful abstract piece that brings out the creative individuality of the artist. <laughs> what are you on about, Zoo? <laughs> <laughs> that says everything about me. <laughs> Zoo gets framed. L um, a, a little more to the left. <laughs> no, no, a bit more <sighs> to the right. <laughs> oh, dear. The place uh, is as sparkling oh. as a new pin. Uh, well, I'm glad you approve. Uh, just as long as you don't want me to move the piano again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These frames, Nana, did they have some of your paintings in them? Oh, I gave up painting a long time ago, Zoo. Well, in that case, we'll take these away for you. Oh, please do. I'll be glad to see the back of them. They've been taking up space in my cupboard for far too long. <laughs> Thank you both for all your hard work. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to listen to Lady's Hour now. <laughs> yes, Nana, you relax. <laughs> Good idea, Zoo. You think on your feet, <laughs> like me. Hello. Oh, hello. We've just dropped by to remind everyone about our event this week. Art in the modern world. Ah, yes, yes, it's a date. <laughs> Oh, they're Nana's cast-offs. You're welcome to them for your gallery. Uh, thank you. But I don't think they're our kind of thing. Oh, well, no problem. They're going into my shed for now. Are you two ready oh. yet? Your tea's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Grandpa, if we clean these up hmm. a bit, I could start my own gallery. Oh, that's a good idea, <laughs> Zoo. I'm going to paint some new pictures just for these frames. <laughs> that should do it, Pock. I'll be able to do some cool pictures now. <laughs> mm, I'll make a picture for this one first. <laughs> them. Mm. Glad you do, Pock. I don't think they're very good. Well, I think this is lovely. Oh. Oh, and, and this one too. Oh, they're all good, Zoo. Oh, I really don't like them at all, Grandpa. Oh, even mm. famous artists have their off days, Zoo. Sometimes a change of scene gives you a different view on things. Really? Absolutely. I'm sure if you do something else for a while, you'll feel better. But what should I do if I don't want to paint? Hmm, well, um, cleaning up the frames might be just the thing to help you feel more creative. What do you think? All right, Grandpa. I guess I can try. This polish will clean up the frame a treat, Sue. Thanks, Grandpa. I think you need a change of pace. Why not help me in the garden for a bit? All right, Grandpa. <clears throat> right, Sue. We're going to mix this sand in with the soil. Sand is very good for my vegetable patch. It makes the soil drain water better. <clears throat> <clears throat> This is fun, Grandpa. It's taking my mind off painting. Oops! <laughs> Never mind, Zoo. It'll do for compost. Oh, that's a pretty colour. It would look nice on the picture frame. Oh, 
but it's sand. Ah, but we can use it as paint. In fact, sand painting is a wonderful idea. Do I have to squash more beetroot to get the colour? <laughs> oh, no, Zoo. Mr Zoe will have everything we need. Come on, let's go and see him. No time like the present. You'll have fun with those today, Zoo. What are you going to paint? Sand. Sand? Yes. Can we have these too? Righto. We'll take all these powdered paints, please, Mr Zoe. Uh, that should cover the cost. Thank you. Enjoy the sand painting, Sue. Have fun. <laughs> See, Zoo? Shaking the sand and paint powder together colours the sand. Oh, that's clever, Grandpa. <laughs> you try it, Zoo. It's easy to do. <laughs> and try this one, Zoo. Grandpa. Right, Ozu. Now for another fun bit. <laughs> we uh, just need to put glue on the frame first. <clears throat> and now you pour on the sand paint. All right. Here goes. Like this, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. See, Zoo, we can use the bits that fall off another time. And then you're left with... Oh, wow! Grandpa, the sand paint hmm. stuck to the frame. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I've only put the glue in places on here, so you can add different colours later. <gasps> That's brilliant, Grandpa. would look nice too. Orange it is, Zoo. You give the pot a shake and I'll put on more glue. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> I love this, Grandpa. <laughs> yes, Zoo. I'm having fun too. But let's see how many different styles we can do. Grandpa, they look really good. Hmm. Yes, but they look a bit empty. Hmm. I know what to do. <laughs> what do you think? I think the orange in the frame looks lovely with the butterfly. You're right, Grandpa. It looks nice. <laughs> oh, Pog thinks so. Hmm. Now, uh, that gives me an idea. Yoo-hoo! Only us. Hi. Hello. Hello. I, uh, uh, we, uh, well, we... We thought we could take those frames off your hands after all. Yes. Some of ours have got broken in storage, uh, so it would be great if we could take oh. yours. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. But you're too late. Oh. <gasps> Follow me, and all will be revealed. Oh. Mm. Oh. Uh. Well, I never. What is on those frames? Oh, yes. What is that? Sand paint. My, <laughs> what a clever idea. They look wonderful. I oh. agree. I've been watching from upstairs. It's lovely to see my old frames looking so pretty. Yes, well done, Zoo. Great frames, great pictures. I'm sure you have a future as an artist. Thank you, Uncle Xavier. But I don't think you would have said that earlier today. Why not, Zoo? I wasn't having a good day and didn't like what I painted. I thought I'd never want to paint again. Ah, yes, but then I told you that even the best artists have days when they don't want to paint. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Zygmunt and Zorosta are just like that sometimes. Yes, and then they go off and do something else. And when they come back to their painting, they feel better. Just like I did. 
Exactly, Zoo. And the end result is wonderful. Look what you've done to those old oh. frames. And your pictures are super. They certainly are wonderful, Bizu. Indeed they are. I'm a very proud dad. Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. And I'm a very proud Nana. <laughs> yes, Zoo. You certainly have your talent for painting from someone. <laughs> but not from me. <laughs> 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 Nana. Zoo's masterpiece. So, Mr. Xavier, what is the essence of your latest exhibition? It's quintessentially about the latest developments in modern art, a fusion of colour and abstract form. Would you say the work on display is accessible to all? Absolutely. Most certainly. Oh, look, Sue, there's Uncle Xavier. <laughs> modern art, or art modern, is not elitist. It is an accessible genre. Oh, goodness knows what Xavier's talking about. It doesn't matter, Grandpa. Come on. And how many artists will you be exhibiting here? At least five artists, all with innovative, groundbreaking work. <laughs> Masterpieces, in fact. Uh, hmm. Now, tell me, Zoo, is that upside down or the right way up? Oh, please, Grandpa. I mustn't be late for my art class. Attention, please, everyone. Today is all about abstract modern art. Hey, I'm sure that's what my Uncle Xavier was talking about when we saw him earlier. Was he, Zoo? Oh, well, well. So... Some painters like to take an image of an animal, like one of these, for example. A cat, a cow, a fish, a bird. But instead of painting it as it is, they paint it as an abstract. How? Oh. They, um, develop the idea, Zach. Huh? Uh. <sighs> Let me show you. I'm going to paint a cat. Now, it doesn't have to look like a cat. You can simply paint the things that suggest it's a cat, like its sharp, <gasps> pointed ears and its eyes. Cat's eyes, narrow and slanted. <laughs> His eyes are on the floor. <laughs> and its ears are on the ceiling. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, Mum, it's the funniest picture I've ever seen. <laughs> Time for you to have a go. Now, choose an animal, then paint it in abstract, just like I did. Mmm. I'm going to paint a cow. Um, bird for me. What about you, Zach? Uh, I'll do a fish. <laughs> Remember to pick out the features which represent the animal you've chosen. Um, a green cow. <laughs> With three blue horns. And <laughs> others on her head. Now, where should I put the eyes? <laughs> on the cow's bottom, of course. <laughs> and the finishing touch, the tail. Hmm, it needs something else. Grass! Cows with udders on their heads eat <gasps> yellow grass. <laughs> Wonderful. Stunning work. Really exciting. Oh, look at Elsie's bird's big green feet. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo's cow has udders on its head. <laughs> and eyes on its 
Got him! <laughs> Your fish. He's wearing a hat. <laughs> you, you may think it's funny that things are upside down or the wrong colour, but all of your subjects are still there. The cow, the bird and the fish. That's what abstract art does so beautifully. It focuses your attention on the elements that really matter. Well done, class. Lovely work. Zoo, the modern abstract artist's masterpiece. <laughs> Let's leave your paintings to dry whilst we go inside and have a snack. Yeah! yeah. Snack! <laughs> Lying around in the park? I, 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 I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll show it in my gallery. And if the owner turns up, they can claim it. <gasps> my painting's gone. Oh. So's mine. Mine too. Oh. oh, dear. The wind must have got up while we were inside having our snack. Oh, look, there's something over there. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's yours, Ozzy. There's another one over here. <laughs> Whose is it, Zach? Oh, it's my fish. So where's my cow painting? Oh, sorry, Zoo. I think the wind must have blown it away. Oh. Oh, there you are, Zoo. Ha <laughs> ha! Just in time. Have you forgotten we're going to Xavier's opening show, Zoo? I don't want to go, Dad. I've had enough of paintings for one day. Oh, come on, Zoo. I need you to explain modern art to me. Hmm. Grandpa? Come along. We promised Xavier we'd go and we mustn't let him down. Oh. Abstract creations devised by brilliant artists, some of whom I personally discovered. This, for example. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Observe the use of rich colour and the primal energy of the piece. Mm, yeah. That's right. Uh, oh, help me out here, Zoo. Come on, Sue. I can't tell whether it's upside down or the right way up. <gasps> That's my painting, Grandpa. But yours? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> A cow, of course. <laughs> oh, you could have fooled me. And as you can oh. see, a quite beautiful piece. Unfortunately, the artist of this work is unknown. It's not unknown, Uncle Xavier. I'm Zoo, and that's my abstract painting <gasps> of a cow. Oh. But, but, but that's impossible. I, I found it in the park. It blew away during my art class. I thought I'd lost it forever. Thanks for taking care of it, Uncle Xavier. <laughs> Quite extraordinary talent for one so young. Oh, I'd say a child prodigy. Oh, this little chap always has been a genius. <laughs> Goodness me! Talent appears to run in our family. Of course, I always knew my nephew had a rare talent. 
I've nurtured it from his early days. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I shall call it Moo in green. <laughs> hmm. I'm really trying hard to get my head round this painting of yours. It's not hard, Grandpa. Look, there are the horns. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> and they're blue. Elsie's mum said you can do that with abstract art. Oh, so is that why it has its eyes on its bottom? <laughs> oh, just tell me, Zoo. Is it the right way up or the wrong way down? <laughs> oh, Grandpa! <laughs> 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 Zoo, the garden decorator. There you go, Pock. My boss is coming to dinner tonight, so please make sure you keep everything tidy. Tonight? Oh, I'll sort out the garden. I need to sweep up the dead leaves and pick up those pine cones. Oh, thanks. If the weather stays fine, we could have a glass of lemonade in the garden. Will you leave work early? No, unfortunately not. I can do the shopping for dinner on the way home. Oh, I just hope I can get everything done in time. Can I help? Um, <laughs> how about hanging some of your paintings in the living room? My boss is very keen on art. Great! I'll choose the best ones. And I'll help you hang them. Oh, thanks, Bizu. <laughs> that should help make a good impression. <laughs> hmm, right of it, Grandpa. Uh, like that? Yep, perfect. Hey, Pock, that's not a perch. Oh, <laughs> Pock. Hello! Hi, Zoo. What are you doing? We're making sure the house looks nice. Mum's boss is coming round later on. Ooh, that sounds a bit important. Can I help? Yes, please. Oh, dear. We've hung all my paintings in here. Now we haven't got any to put in the garden. You're going to decorate the garden? Yup. Mum's boss is a bit of an art lover, so we need to impress her. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you two artists come up with. I'll go and see if I can find anything in the kitchen to use. And I'll go and get my paints. <laughs> Grandma, can I borrow these? Of course, Sue. I've got enough for tonight. But what are you going to do with them? I'm going to decorate the garden. Mum said she wanted the place to look nice. Oh. Would you like these plastic spoons too? Oh, yes, please. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> what are we going to do with all this? Um, we could start by adding a bit of colour. Good idea. <laughs> I put this? Um, let's see. What would an artist do? What do you mean, Zoo? Um... <sighs> That's where it goes. Good idea. Each thing has its own place. This is going to be fun. Hey! <laughs> 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 Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> There's something missing. I've got an idea, but we better be quick. Mum will be back soon. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Mum, what do you think? <laughs> 
What's all this rubbish doing in the garden? Um, it's decoration. We've decorated the house and the garden <gasps> and... Oh, Sue. I'm sure you meant well, but your decoration uh, is... Uh, how can I put it? Would it look better without the bottles? I don't think that will be enough. The garden doesn't look exactly tidy and I'll never have time to clear it all up before my boss arrives. We'll help. She'll be here very soon. I haven't done oh. the shopping yet and I have to cook dinner too. I think I should cancel. No, don't. We'll put everything back just the way it was. Promise. Uh, and I'll help. Uh, maybe Dad or Grandma can do the shopping for you. Good idea. I'll go and see. Hmm. Oh, I don't think Mum liked our decoration. Oh. Mum! Mum! What's up, kids? We've made a bit of a problem for Mum. I never knew garden decoration was so difficult. You decorated the garden? Oh, I'm sure you made it look very pretty. No, we didn't. Mum wasn't very pleased. Well, maybe you just haven't had enough experience. Would you like some help? Yes, please. Thanks, Mum. Now, this time, we'd better be a bit more thoughtful about what we do. We're back and we got everything Mum needed. <sighs> I'm here to help Sue and Elsie decorate your garden. Oh, thank you. How kind. We'd better hurry. We're running out of time. Don't worry. I'll give you a hand clearing all this up. And I'll go and help Mum with the dinner. Well, you certainly allowed your creativity to oh. run away with you. We thought it was artistic. <sighs> oh, I see. <sighs> Exterior art. We call it land art, but it's not just about letting your feelings go. You need to have some real thought behind it. You mean like when you write a story? Exactly. First, you need to plan what you're <gasps> going to do. Maybe you could think of a special theme. That'd be a good place to start. Um, what ideas do those leaves and pine cones give you? Well, uh... Sort of nature ones? Nature, yes. Very good. Now, let's think about your decoration. It should blend in with the surroundings to bring out its beauty. So, natural things like the pine cones and hmm. leaves. Oh, what about nutshells? Good idea, Zoo. Oh, here you are. <laughs> I bought far too many. Thank you. Oh, we have everything we need. Now, let's decide on the best way to arrange it all. Hmm. Are we keeping those? They're not very natural. Maybe not, but they'll create an interesting shape. Cut these plastic bottles. We need to tie string to either side. I think so. I should have what we need in the garage. Now, shall we repaint these pebbles with a pattern? Brilliant! And, uh, here, use these colours. They're softer. <laughs> an artist too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you clip those leaves together? I think so. Oh, here. You can make holes in them when you're finished. <laughs> oh, now we just have to leave it to cook. Oh, thanks. You were a great help. Oh, there's nothing like a spot of teamwork. I hope the garden's back to normal again. Oh! <gasps> oh. oh, no. 
now you still don't like it. Don't like it? Zoo, it's a work of art. Well done. It's beautiful, really artistic. <laughs> Your boss just phoned. <gasps> She's been held up at work. She wonders whether you could postpone the dinner until tomorrow. What? Uh, well, I don't see why not. These beautiful decorations will still be here tomorrow. Why don't we have a picnic in the garden? <laughs> Care to join us? What a great idea. Oh, we'd love to. It's not every day that you get the chance to eat in the middle of a work of art. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> A Nana's Memory Book I don't think your pencil sharpener's in here, Nana. Uh, I'm sure that's where I put it. <laughs> oh, yes. Here it is. Oh, sorry, Nana. Oh, no need <laughs> for you to be sorry, Sue. I ought to be more careful where I put my happy memories. <laughs> I've got an old photo album somewhere. I should put them in there. <laughs> Got it! Here you are, Nana. Thank you, Zoe. Oh, dear. Who's falling apart? Oh, there's some more photos here, too. <clears throat> You've got a lot, haven't you? Oh, I have, Zoe. <laughs> and when I've put them in my album, they'll all be in one place. <laughs> <laughs> now, where did I put my sticky tape? I can stick those pages back for you with Grandpa. And we can put all your photos in, too. Thank you, Zoo. Glad to help, Nana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see you later. There we go. Nana's photo album won't fall apart now. Hmm, Grandpa, this album looks a bit, hmm, ordinary. <gasps> what if I make her a proper memory book for photos and postcards and letters and other things? That's an excellent idea, Sue. I'll need to get a special book to put everything in. No time like the present. Let's go and see if we can find something nice in your Uncle Xavier's shop. <laughs> oh, so no fancy notebooks then? No notebooks at all, Zoo. Not even plain ones. They're on order, but there's a two-week wait. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's go and see if Mr. Zoe's got mm. any. Thanks, Sammy. I'm sorry, Zoo. I don't think I've got any. Oh, hang on. Here we are. Looks like you're in luck. Thanks, Mr. Zoe. Mm, but it's a bit dusty and the cover's a bit bent. Hmm, yes. You're right, Zoo. It is a bit tatty, isn't it? But why don't you take it anyway? No charge. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zoe. It was kind of Mr. Zoe to let me have this, but I wish we found something a bit smarter. <laughs> Nana will be so happy with what we put inside, she'll hardly notice the outside. I know, Grandpa, but I really wanted it to be a special memory book. It will be, Zoo. She's got so many photos. Which shall I put in first? Ooh, I, I'm not so sure. I don't know who all these pictures are of. If we guess which are the older ones, then Nana can move them around the way she wants. Yeah, that would it. Oh, I wonder who that can be. <laughs> Hi, Elsie. Hello, Elsie. Hi. Want to come out and play, Zoo? Not just now. Oh. I'm making Nana a memory book. Well, I'm trying to. Do you want to come and help? Oh, OK. I wanted to get a really nice notebook, but this is all that Mr Zoe had. You could make a new cover, hmm. you know, with some nice paper. Hey, that's a brilliant idea. Grandma's got lots of wrapping paper. Let's go and see if she'll give us some. <laughs> 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 Grandma's quite the collector. <laughs> um, this piece looks nice. Yes, it does. 
I'll trim it down a bit and then you two can stick it on with sticky tape. Um, why don't you just draw right around it, Grandpa? Oh, you need a bit extra to fold over the edges of the notebook. See? <laughs> hmm, it looks okay, but, um, it still isn't quite special enough. I'm sure Nana will love it. Your grandpa's right, Sue, but if you think it needs something else, we could ask my mum if she's got any ideas. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, you've made the cover look nice, Sue. Hmm, but it's not special enough for Nana. The paper is a bit thin. It might tear. Well, it's easy to make your own paper. Is it? Yes. Now, if you could tear up these newspapers into little bits... Like this? Just like that. Perfect. And when you've done that, we'll put them into a big bowl of water. We put them in the water. <laughs> and now we mix it all up. Now, that gooey mixture's called pulp. Ew. And then we add some cornstarch. That'll make the paper firm enough to stick photos to and other things. Wow! Cool! That screen will stop big pieces of paper going in the mix. Now, watch. And nearly done. Oh, you could put some of those dried petals in if you like, Sue. Hmm. They'll make your paper look pretty. It'll smell nice too. Like this. That's right. It looks nice. This cloth will dry out the pulp. Do we need any more bits? Yes, please. The more we have, the more special paper we can make. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. That's one sheet down. Quite a few more to go. <laughs> Sorry, Zoo. This is going to take a little while. I can take care of it if you have other things to do. I do need to collect stuff to put in Nana's memory book. Oh, OK. You do that, and when you come back, the paper should be ready. Brilliant. See you later. Oh, and thank you very much. Bye, Zoo. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, this is taking me right down memory lane. Cards, notes, an invitation to your Nana's birthday party. How old was I then? Oh, you weren't even born then, Bizu. I'd only just met your dad. So, was that a happy memory? Oh, yes. Yes, it was. Here you are, Zoo. Photographs and postcards of holidays your Nana took me on when I was a youngster. Wow, you and Nana went everywhere, Grandpa. <laughs> we did get around. Elsie's mum said the paper should be dry now. Maybe we can finish making the book. Let's go and see. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> this looks wonderful, Zoo. How clever of you to make your own paper. It's easy, Grandpa. You just tear up loads of newspaper. Well, I think it's worked really well. And the dried flowers you've added smell lovely. <laughs> Nana will be thrilled. Oh, this photo feels thicker than the other ones, Grandpa. Wow, look. Two photos stuck together. So there are. It's Nana, when she was young. Who's that with her? I don't know, Zoo. <laughs> I don't think I've been born then. But Nana will be able to tell us. A hidden photo. I hope she'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you can open your eyes now, Nana. <laughs> My word! <laughs> Look at this! It's beautiful. Oh, and full of my old photos. Oh, and cards. It's wonderful. It's called a memory book. The zoo made the paper himself, you know. How clever. 
<gasps> and it smells lovely too. That's because of the dried flowers, Nana. Oh, it's very, very special. Yes. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my word. Look at this. It's Zola, my best friend from school. And I've looked everywhere for this photograph. Where did you get it? It was stuck to another photograph. It was Zoo who noticed it. <laughs> another perfect <laughs> memory for my perfect memory book. Oh, thank you for my beautiful, perfumed present, Zoo. <laughs> I, I shall treasure it. And here's even more happy memories, Nana. Oh, how lovely. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Zoo's Flight of Fancy. And it's going to be brilliant! And I'll look wonderful because I've got my Wicked Fairy Princess dress and everyone's invited and I'll be the best because Daddy says so and... and Um, what did she say? She's talking about her fancy dress party. <laughs> uh, her fancy dress party? Yes, and we're going to have it here! We... Uh, I mean, you... you are. Didn't you get my mail? About next Friday evening? Hmm. No? Ooh. Daddy! My uh. party! Don't worry, Zinny Pops. I'm sure it won't be a problem. <clears throat> next Friday? Let's see. Um... Oh, you're in luck. Uh, the over 60s high stress aerobics class has been cancelled. <laughs> so. My party! I'm going to have my party! And I'll wear my wicked fairy outfit! And I'll the best and we can have a prize for best outfit and hooray and daddy bought it for me and didn't you daddy and i've been wanting to wear it for hours <laughs> look zoo hawk seems very interested in your cereal this morning <laughs> okay pork but only one here's the post Oh, probably just a lot of junk mail as usual. Mm. Bill? Bill? Leaflet from the pizza place? Oh, a letter for you, Zoo. For me? Wow. It's from Zinnia. She's asked me to a fancy dress party. And there's going to be a prize for the best costume. <laughs> it doesn't start now, does it? Oh, Pock, you are incorrigible. <laughs> hey, Elsie! Oh, Sue, it's you. What's the matter? Have you been invited to Sinia's party? Yes. What are you going as? Um, I don't know. What are you going to wear? Hmm, not sure. But it has to be good. There's a prize for the best one. I know! We'd better go and have a think. Mm. Yes, Pock. I'm going to ask Mum and Dad. Mm. I might still have the cowboy outfit I had when I was your age. Oh. Well, how about a spaceman? You like playing spacemen. <laughs> mm. oh, uh, Grandpa tells me you're going to a fancy dress party. Uh, why don't I make you a nice page boy's outfit? <laughs> I've got some lovely blue velvet in my serving box. <laughs> Thanks, Nana. But, uh, um... Oh, oh, I'm going as a dinosaur. A dinosaur? Yes, we're doing papier-mâché in Sigmund and Zerosa's art class. I could make a dinosaur head. And I could sew you a dinosaur suit. Wow! Thanks, Nana. <laughs> I'll go with you. A dinosaur? Now that's what I call a super duper idea. Super duper? We've never made a dinosaur head before. Still no time like the present. Let's get started. We could use this as a mould. Hey! 
<laughs> that looks just like you, Sigmund. He should do. It's my head. Well, not his real head. <laughs> He's wearing that already. <laughs> it's a model of it. <laughs> it's what we call a bust. A sculpture of my head, neck and shoulders. <laughs> Rather good, isn't it? <laughs> and we can make the papier-mâché around it. Now then, lots of paper and some paste. Hmm. Doesn't look terribly fierce, does it? That's OK. I'm going to be a friendly dinosaur. <laughs> it looks fierce enough to frighten your little bird. It's OK, Pock. It isn't real. Look! There, Zoo. What do you think? Wow! Nana, it's brilliant! Well, aren't you going to try it on? Hmm. Wow! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Help! A dinosaur in my kitchen! It's okay, Mum. It's me, Zoo. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. It's a brilliant outfit, isn't it? Well, it certainly is. I'm going to go and scare Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking me back to the shop, Mrs Ollie. You're welcome, Zach. That's what I'm here for. Now, did you have a nice time at your friends? Wow! Shoo! <laughs> shoo! Go on, shoo! We can't have dinosaurs in the garage! <laughs> Grandpa, it's me! Just wait until I find my anti-dinosaur powder and... Uh, what? Zoo? <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> I'd never have guessed. What a wonderful dinosaur outfit. Wow! Wow! Huh? Mrs Ollie, look! What is it, Zack, dear? There! In Zoo's garden! A dinosaur! I saw a dinosaur! A dinosaur? Oh, that's nice, dear. Now, come along. Your daddy will be wondering where you've got to. But, Mrs Ollie, which if the dinosaur gets loose and, and runs around like a... a dinosaur? Oh, I think Zoo's grandpa's dealt with dinosaurs before. Has he? Oh, good! And there it was! A dinosaur! And it was really big and it had these great big teeth and stuff and it was really, really fierce and, and, and fierce and, and big! A dinosaur? In Zoo's garden? Hello there! Zoo! Did that dinosaur eat everything in your house? <laughs> that wasn't a dinosaur, Zack. It was me in my outfit for Zinnia's fancy dress party. Fancy dress party? Yes. It's huh? this afternoon. Didn't you get an invitation? No. <clears throat> well, I'm sure Zinnia would have wanted you to go. <laughs> Your invitation must have got lost in the post or something. Yes. So you are going to come, aren't you? I'd like to. But... But I haven't got time to get an outfit if it's this afternoon. <gasps> Don't worry, Zack. We'll find a solution. I know, Zack. You can have my dinosaur costume. Really? Yes. I can wear Dad's old cowboy outfit. Thank you, Sue. That's very kind. Very kind indeed. Wow! <laughs> I'm going to be a dinosaur! <laughs> 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 Howdy, Zinnia. We're the Zebra Kids and the Rootin' Tootin' Elsie. I'm the Wicked Fairy Princess. Ha 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 ha. And I'm going to win the prize for the best costume. We'll see, Zinnia. <laughs> It's all right, Zinnia. I'm not really a dinosaur. It's me, Zack. Huh? Stand back, Zinnipops. 
Yes, I knew. I wasn't frightened. Ahem. Check, check, one, two. Uh, attention, please. Hello. Um, before we get the party really going, I'd just like to announce the winner of the best fancy dress costume. And that winner is... No, you should have won, Zoo. It was your costume after all. Yes, but I let Zack have it, because that's what friends are for. <laughs> 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 